5 Stuart steam engines in the workshop. This video shows 5 Stuart model steam engines after some slight valve timing adjustments, all running at the same time on the bench using my multiple compressed air distribution unit. I bought this a while back on eBay and it was for next to nothing, I think it cost about £10. It's a very well made heavy duty steel canister fitted with compressed air fittings. Small compressed air taps that are ideal for running small steam engines. And the good thing about this unit is there are six of these taps. When I first bought it, it wasn't painted like this. If you follow my video ramblings, you will know that I used it to practice on when I was lining my traction engine, or just before I lined the traction engine's side plates. At the moment, there are five live connections, and the top four connect to four Stuart S50 steam engines. These are all part of a really complicated way of building a steam plant. The customer has sent me four engines all of which are in different mechanical conditions. But after a bit of tweaking, a bit of this and a bit of that, they're all running very well. The customer asked me to send him back the yellow engine because it's running so much better since I tweaked it, he wants to fit it back to the plant it came off. It is running a lot better than it did because it didn't run at all. If you want more details, please watch the series A Stuart Model Steam Plant. The S50 in the foreground really is the best of the bunch. And once again, there is a video on my channel showing what I did to it. I fitted a piston ring, filed the crosshead to fit the crosshead guides, and set the timing, and it's running very well. I don't normally use hammers on steam engines, but I do need to tweak the timing of the yellow engine, and the eccentric sheave is tight on the shaft. Although I haven't shown it in this video, I re-threaded the eccentric sheave to use a 6BA Allen-type grub screw, and that way the Allen key can be used to rotate the sheave. Later on in this video, I will also adjust the timing of a Stuart Victoria. There's not much more I can say. Here, I'm trying to set the pressure so all of the engines run just about at the same speed, and that's more difficult than it first appears. On this S50 that's painted in red primer, the slide valve is reluctant to slam against the ports with the pressure, so I had to turn up the pressure, get it to work, and then back off the pressure. You can hear when the slide valve contacts the port face, then it runs. By carefully adjusting the valves on the distribution unit, I got them all to run successfully together. Later on in the video, I will be adding a Stuart Victoria, giving that a bit of a tweak, and running all five engines together at the same time. That is it for the narration, I'm going to shut up now and go away. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the show.
please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.